All right, y'all. So we back at it one more time, man. We up here at Full Four Motorsports. We back up here. I got the M. Um, got some new shit. One of the things I told y'all I wanted to do to the car in the video before. Um, and uh, I finally decided on which intakes to go with. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. We're gonna be putting these. Uh, we're gonna be putting these intakes on the car, and I'll let y'all see which ones I'm going with. So let's go. About to go down. Get this thing whistling. I don't I don't think they're really gonna make like any real power gains um before the car is tuned. But as far as um the sound, it's definitely gonna be a big difference. Tenfo. Y'all know I was like I was trying to figure out if I wanted to do the short round or if I wanted to do um the long intakes that go outside under the hood. And look at me now, I'm prepared. Hood knife. I think we lost battery over here. Okay. That thing died so fast, man. Oh no. Oh. No, it didn't, it didn't, <laughs> it didn't. GoPro batteries, man. Y'all don't do this, get you some GoPro batteries. This is ridiculous. But, um, yeah, I pull a VR Speed Factory, man, because everything they got seems to be quality. It's like a bang for your buck company, man. They're giving you good stuff, and, and it's not terribly expensive. You already, got, you already got something like this. You don't expect parts to be cheap for the car, but VR Speed Factory got us, got us covered. For real. Mmm. Yes, sir. Like so, it got rhino coat. Yeah, it's got uh, it got that wrinkle black paint on it, just like the uh, just like the uh, the hard pipes that we put on. Um, so we get ready to turn the boost up, but everything seems to be here. Preparation for boost. Yes, sir. Getting ready to turn that thing up. More boost. More boost. More sound. I I can't wait to hear it though. That's. These right here, if they do anything more than than something else, it's the sound. That's that long piece that runs in front of the uh, run in front of the intake coming from one turbo going. It's gonna go out to the and then like one of these elbows right here, elbow hookup right there, and the intake cone be coming out right there, right up front, getting that cold air, baby. Cold air, what it's all about. Trying to make me do mine. All right. So step one. Remove this carbon fiber. Strut tile brace. Strut tile brace. You got a bolt there, bolt there, bolt there. Two bolts in the front. Let's get a good visual. Well, that's that. a beautiful piece, though. Definitely and is. Functional. functional. And you got those three bolts right there. So we're gonna tune back in. Hey. This whole whole motor. <laughs> so next, gotta get these guys out of the way. Uh, get the uh, mass airflow sensors out and into the new pipes. Get the uh, vacuum line. It's it's all small stuff. It's a pretty pretty simple job. Probably the hardest thing we got to do is take take these off and hold that back so we can get. Well, I don't know. I take that back. Hardest thing we got to do is that um, cut that little bit out. For clearance because there is a section right in here uh where that pipe comes out that that i gotta cut so it'll come out real clean it doesn't it just doesn't fit so hey we ain't gonna bore y'all with all the details but when we get on um, you know we'll pop in and show you a little bit here and there what we got going on engineering is fine best chris they got you ready bring your punk ass on up here and pay for that shit. all right what we got where we at? Where we at? We so, um, just to make sure that this don't get damaged, I want to go ahead. I wanted to go ahead and put these mass airflow sensors in here. You know, there's something that's small, but should be detrimental. It don't take nothing to break this little plastic. So, um, no tools on this stuff. Just use your hands to pry this type of stuff out of there because uh, it's real easy to break it. What you took off after that uh, that strut brace? Um, we took the air box, we pulled the air boxes out. They held in by grommets. They real easy. You just kind of 
uh, pull that off first and then slide it on out. Pretty much the same on both sides. So you got these mass airflows in here. And you cannot, if you get this particular um, set, don't take the screws right out of the box and try to put them back in here. They're not the same size. You're gonna end up stripping your uh, your screw holes out. They don't fit. Use the ones that come with the kit. Put the washers on. So oh. we're gonna get those tightened down. We're trying to, yeah, see what you got right here with the Allen. You see, you find one that fitted? Yeah, you know, personal assistant type like shit. That's right. <laughs> I appreciate it. That's right. Easy peasy. Just take a little time. Be patient. Don't yeah. rush. Don't ever rush. This ain't something real hard to do. So, you know, that's why we just showing y'all some little things I think might be a little key for you. Um, if you're doing this, like like what I was saying with that, um, the size of that, uh, the size of these boat holes. For sure. De definitely would not work without, uh, with the stock ones that came with it. We'll get back with y'all in a little bit. All right, we had a uh, part of our house. Camara had to come up here to 404 um, and see Brandon. Why he brought it in? Uh, he had some damage on the driver's side door. Um, I think somebody probably told him he needed to replace the door. But we got a good quality body man. Got him taken care of. Uh, I'm pretty sure Anna showed y'all the before footage. But I mean, here it is. We ended up basically painting the whole side. Um, the door was actually damaged right here. It's got a little dust on it right now. But the door was damaged right here, as you can see. It was creased all yeah. the way back. Yeah, back into the garage door, I think. It basically flipped the door, flipped the door skin back. Mm. Mm -hmm. um, we ended up painting the whole side of the car. If you know anything about paint, you have to blend the adjacent panel. So we blended it into the quarter. We actually wrapped it all the way around because he had some scratches back here on the back bumper. We took care of the scratches on the back bumper too. 100. He back, he back the factory now. Yes, sir. All right. Brand new. Told y'all, man. Y'all need anything done just the way y'all need to come, especially if you're in the area. Next thing, we have to take all of these out. I ain't boring y'all with that shit. Me seeing me unscrew some bolts, but you got to take all of these out so you can peel this back. Um, shout out to Keys Motorsports. For, I, I watched his video before I done any of this. He had some real super informative very detailed videos on doing a lot of stuff for BMWs, especially um, that F80 platform. But basically, um, you can peel this back and you don't have to worry about it too much, like bending it out of shape. So don't be scared to pull it back. It's plastic, it's going, it's going to go right back where it's supposed to go. So I had to pull these, push, press these tabs in right here. So we can pull this grill out from the front, both sides. All right, that broke. This one is too, but it's enough to hold it. Um, anyway, so right in here, right in here, we got to come out with, um, we got to come out with the pipes right here. So like this little, these little rubber doors gonna come out and then we gonna cut, trim some of this plastic right there. So the pipes will come, come through right here. But yeah, that's pretty much what I want you to see. All righty. More footage coming. A lot of people take, um, instead of doing the intakes like what I got, there are some scoops you can get. So you pull this little window out right here and put them scoops in and they go directly into um, into the, into that closed air box. That's another good option if you got one of these cars and you want to um, and you want to do intakes or get some more get some more air going to the turbos. That was something I, I thought about doing the scoops and them. Um, and them rims, but I decided to go with this because I think, first of all, it looked cool as hell seeing the filters up front. And second of all, it ain't no way, that's that's got to be the way to get the coolest out to the car, to run the intakes right up in front of the grill. Got to be. I'm convinced, goddammit. And we'll be back. We're to the point now where I cut out, I notched out a section of the uh, plastic on the inside so we can clear, so we can clear that with that three inch pipe right there. So if you guys will look on the inside here, um, you can see where I cut the plastic. Um, and you know, we always improvise. So my boy, 
he is a uh, certified electrician. He, he has some Klein tools. Um, certainly not made to cut this stuff, but it did the job. And uh, if you see, this is the piece I cut out of it. Um, when I, I watched another video, like I was saying, and he, you know, he marked it off and everything, and he cut a nice little section out of there. I ain't that, uh, I ain't had that much finesse. So I just cut it straight back and um, see if that goes in there. I'm pretty sure it will. It looks like we got enough clearance. Just kind of slide it in there and rotate it as you're coming out. Bingo. And that's what we're looking for. We just want to make sure we got enough room for it to come out right there. Ain't nobody going to see that I, I got a, a half half inch, if <laughs> three quarters of an inch or something like that little it's, it's nothing. So um, let's see if the other side will go in. If the other side will go in, we can go ahead and start buttoning everything back up. So, up here. Rotate that bad boy in. Damn, there we go. Yeah, filter's gonna come. Sit right here on that. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and come up here and put the connecting pipes that run from the turbos all the way out to to the outside so we'll be right back everybody's favorite part of putting the intake on is the filter you know when you got the filter out you don't button everything up everything's pretty much done um one thing i didn't mention is this bolt right here you do have to take this bolt off it's a 13 millimeter you got to take that off in order you know so it's mounted clean and it ain't going nowhere um so we got everything tight right here Got the mass airflow tightened up in the end. Got the um, vacuum hose plugged back in. Mass airflow over here. Grommets uh, buttoned up and everything. So now, putting the crown jewel back on right now um, with this uh, strut tower brace, this beautiful mother. Mm. Don't get over to look at it. Mm -mm. But yeah, we buttoning this back up right now. Excuse me, the grills back in, that's gonna be all right. Yes, sir. It's all over by the crown now. And last but not least, the finishing touches. It's always feels good. Yeah. And it should just pretty much slide back in. This. Just so you'll feel those, you'll feel those tabs click whenever you go back in with it, but you can probably hear them on the video. Give them that angle, baby. Ooh. It's dirty, but it's clean. It's dirty, but it's clean. That's that's the truest statement of the day. Straight to the car wash I go. Man, that looks so nice sitting up in there. Straight to the car wash I go. And we out of here. Not quite yet. Always look under the hood, make sure you ain't forget nothing. With my forgetful ass, let me put that back down too. All right. Right over here. Everything buttoning up. Let's see what it sound like. Take your time getting that door out that clearance. Yeah, for sure. We don't need them problems. <laughs> Ooh, look at them LEDs.
right, check this. We got the intake's done. The car definitely is more responsive. We can definitely hear the turbos on this thing now, man. It's crazy how much of a difference this made in the sound. Y'all check this out. Come right in so you can hear the turbo. Don't get hit. Up. All right, man. Got the boy in the whip. Got 392 season with me. Mm -hmm. We about to do this first drive mm -hmm. um, with the intakes. Just put the intakes on here. See what they sound like. You know part of owning a turbo car is the turbo noise. You got to have the turbo noise. And we just amped it up. So let's see what this thing sound like, man. What mode are you in? Right now I'm in um I'm in manual. Sport mode, sport plus? Uh sport. I'm in sport right now. Install went good. If I was gonna, you know, people always wanna know how hard it was. If I was gonna rate the uh how hard that was. I would say out of a one to ten, I'd say a three. Hardest part was, man, I don't know, maybe cutting the plastic. It was real, it was very simple. But I'ma shut up so we can hear this um so we can hear these turbos smooth. So that's crazy. That was just like a, a good little squeeze. I'm a um man, that's crazy. Be careful right here too. Yeah, be, I'm going see, back. Uh, it's just low, you know what I'm saying? I ain't finna be turning up in these people residential like that. Damn, I was just swing around right there. Go ahead and turn that motherfucker. Like Let me turn around in your yard, grandma. Appreciate it. What I'm gonna do is put it in a low gear or like lower. I'm gonna switch gears a couple of times and make it like uh, put a load on it. Yeah. That's when you should you should hear the turbos the most when we do that. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna shift like while I'm driving kind of slow. I'm gonna go down about I'm gonna go up to about third gear and then mash it. Let's see if we can hear them whistle a little. Said this one's supposed to increase until it's tuned, but it feels like it's increased. This is the last time I rode it. Since last time you rode it, I told you it felt like it was faster. Wasn't even on. Seriously. All right, so we so we switching pilots right now. We got the boy finna take that thing down the road. Hey, um, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go up to the fence. It's in sport now, right? It's in, it should be in sport right now. You should, yeah, everything in sport. Just me. And you shifting with the paddles right now. Yeah, it's in, it's in manual. If you want to stop shifting, all you got to do is bump it over there to the right. Which way are you going? Uh, I'm going to go down there and turn around. You going to do the same thing I just did? Yeah. All right. I ain't going to do too much because I ain't going to be in sport. Yeah. Let me see what my own, what my own creation sound like from the outside. It ain't nothing like having somebody you trust to drive your car. 
so you can see what it look like, see what it sound like, see what everybody else is seeing while you in the mother. You know what I'm saying? He just gonna um give me a little turbo sound. We live, baby, for Full Motorsports. <laughs> yeah. You hear that thing blowing off a little bit. <laughs> Just a little bit. I'm with it, though. You know I'm feeling it all day. And we got way more to put on the car. Um, I had some parts come in the other day. Along with the intakes, I got um something else I'm going to show y'all. We'll, we'll save that for another video, though. But, um, hey, man, that's the end of the install. We probably fixing the cruise, go get something to eat. Drink, drink a couple of cold ones. But that look good on you. <laughs>